Okay. LeBron James. That's what we're here to talk about. Mr. LeBron James. Okay, I was watching the Knicks versus Heat game tonight. And, um... I can't quite remember the score. I want to say it was... 99 to 94. I don't know. Shut up. But... LeBron James took the last shot for the Miami Heat, which would have tied the game up and perhaps took them into overtime. And LeBron James keeps taking these buzzer beaters. This is about the third or fourth time I've seen him do that with the Miami Heat. And this is the third and fourth time that he fucked it all up. Let me take y'all down memory lane. LeBron James is not a closer. Not at all. LeBron James is a... He's the guy that helps you close. He's the guy who helps you find the person who's supposed to close. He's the guys that make closing a little bit more better for the guy who is the closer. Which will be D-Wade. Dwayne Wade is the closer for this Miami Heat team. Hell, I would have even allowed Mike Miller to take the three-point shot to tie it up than LeBron James to take it because LeBron James is just not. Okay, he had that big buzzer beater game winner against the Orlando Magics, what, two years ago? Okay. That's the only one you remember. Now, meanwhile, Dwayne Wade had buzzer beaters at, I don't know, preseason games. He had buzzer beaters at regular season games. He had buzzer beaters in playoffs, including his rookie year. So, why do they keep giving the ball to LeBron James? That's my question. Why? Why? Why LeBron James? Why do they keep giving him the ball? Yes, he's the top scorer. Yes, he got the best field goal percentage. But he's not a closer. Give the ball to Wade or Mike Miller. Even your three-point champion, Jermaine Jones. Why y'all leave him out? He's the three-point fucking champion. You're down by three. What the fuck? Seriously? I mean, like, that didn't come to you? Like, common sense didn't hit you? It didn't it didn't store in or something? I mean, that's exactly what the fuck I would've did. Hey, he's three-point champion. We have D-Wade, which people are going to be looking for. We have, um, of course, LeBron James people are going to be looking for. Then you have Chris Bosh, who, well, he's not going to shoot no three-point, so... They're going to kind of ease off of him. And who else is left? Jermaine Jones. Give him the fucking ball. That's it. Give him the ball. Give him the ball, LeBron. You don't have to hold. You don't have to let people know that you want to take over the team. You already took over the team. You're already MVP of that team already. You're already a team captain more than Dwayne Wade is. Okay, but you would have definitely been a team captain if you would have passed the ball to someone who could make that shot. I mean, let's be honest, LeBron. You did it for the highlight reel. You know what I mean? You did it for the highlight reel. You didn't do it to win a game. You didn't do it to tie it up. You did it for the highlight reel. You wanted, you wanted to be shown on ESPN later on tonight. Other people want to win. You know, I mean, when the Bulls needed a three-pointer, they had Steve Kerr. Jordan wasn't scared to pass it to him. Jordan wasn't scared to pass it to John Paxson. When they were down and Paxson was open for the three pointer, Jordan passed it. Why can't you learn the same thing? But yeah, 
I just wanted to make sure everyone know that LeBron James is a nice, good, talented, athletic athlete that I've ever seen. But he is also the worst, boringest, irrelevant closer that I've ever known. Just wanted to put that out there. Go Heat! <laughs>